Hey, I'm Jocelyn, and this is my dear friend Sandra, and today we are going to make a Negroni, yeah? Yes, one of the all-time classic cocktails. So this is a very, very simple one uh, because it's the same proportions. We're going to use gin, and I'm just going to start with an ounce and finish with an ounce, frankly. <laughs> I was thinking, you're going to start middle and end with an ounce of everything, yeah? I am, and I've got ice here in my mixing glass. And so we're just gonna, this is like a stir drink. This is Build a stir. stir, right? That's right. Nice and easy. We have Campari, which is a bitter orange. Um, if you are not familiar with Campari, it's going to surprise you when you first drink it. So I think for some, a little bit of an acquired taste, but- um, Definitely. But once you learn to love it, you're gonna love it. And I have to say that um, because of where we spend a lot of time in Italy, I drink a lot more Aperol, which is, a similar bitter orange thing, but it's not as strong. It's not as it's not as bitter as the Campari. So um, sometimes for me, Campari is just a little bit much, and I actually substitute Aperol occasionally. Yeah, you can you can nice. totally do that. But this is the traditional way, it, and I'm not I'm not advocating that you do that. Right, the purists <laughs> out there are going to be screaming I at, know, right? at the <laughs> screen right now. Um, I finished that with another, so it was one ounce, one ounce, one ounce of sweet vermouth at the end. Please do not substitute uh, white dry vermouth because you're not going to like it. <laughs> so horrible. <laughs> stir, and really all you're trying to do is chill yep. the ingredients. Okay. So stirred, not shaken. That's right. Yes. So I think this was, was this not invented by a count or something? Is that right? Am I count remembering? Count Negroni. I think that that I is the that's history. that's right. And I think he was trying to up, up the ante on the Americano. Um, by adding gin. You just needed a little more oomph to it or something maybe. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad you brought up the Americano because this is uh, the Americano, the Boulevardier, and the Negroni are very, very closely mm -hmm. related cocktails, similar ingredients. Um, this is almost identical actually to a Boulevardier because the Boulevardier has bourbon and a little bit higher ratio, but other than that, it's, right. it's really kind of the same drink. But obviously, gin and bourbon make it completely obviously, two different drinks. Obviously, very different drink, right? So I have here like a nice, um, thick, wide, kind of rough, that's how I like to cut them, um, for this drink anyway, um, thing of orange, and I just spritz it in there a little bit and drop Thank it in. Thank you very much. Very okay. important, don't leave out your orange peel. It gives a lot of- It's uh, all about the nose, and the nose is all about the taste, and it does they're right necessary, now. right? So, mm. It's not bad, and you know how I feel about gin, but it kind of, and these two things being so like, one is sweet, one is fruity, that gin with that juniper kind of thing back on it, it just kind of bounces. It, it, I don't know, it adds like a vivacity that the others are, are like more mellow. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, we found a gin drink I kind of like. <laughs> so um, y'all try a Negroni and um, salute. Salute.